Okay, so we are going to make a backup using iTunes first. Let's click on backup now. Click transfer purchases. Complete. So let's try the restore. So I disconnect the old phone and connect the new one. And let's see if we can restore the contents from the old phone to the new one. Okay, so it says that find my iPhone must be turned off before I can restore to the new iPhone. So to turn off find my iPhone, I think you have to go to the settings. Oh yeah, so it's under Apple ID. So you go to first one, your Apple ID, then the phone, the name of your phone, and then find my iPhone must be switched, uh, switched off. And you have to enter your iTunes password to switch off find my iPhone. So let's do that. Okay, so I turned off find my iPhone. Now I can click OK. Okay, so let's cancel syncing. And let's sto restore from backup. So this is the backup I just made before. Let's click restore. And then let's see if it's working. Okay, it says restore in progress on the iPhone, so that's already a good sign. So this will take, I guess, at least 15 minutes, if not longer. Restore in progress. Another five seconds. The settings for the phone have been restored. Please leave the phone connected. It will, will appear in iTunes after a few minutes. Mm. Okay, so the phone is restarting. Let's see if it restores the phone to the old one. Okay, so press home to upgrade. Okay, it seems it's working. Restore completed. Your phone was restored successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow and then you're finished. Let's click continue. All right. You have to enter your iTunes password. After you entered the, your iTunes password of the old phone, you will be asked to verify the ID with the code. So Apple will send a six digit code to your old phone and that you will en have to enter to the new phone. And then now it's setting up iCloud. So it seems it's working. And after that, it will ask to enter the passcode of your iPad another security measure okay so i've entered the ipad passcode then uh, apple pay set up later siri set up later customize later in settings display zoom welcome to iphone let's get started all right so it's working so that was pretty quick all right so that was the upgrade from the old iphone 5s to the iphone 7 using itunes by cable yes remember to put the old sim in the new phone and you also might have to set up find my iphone again on the new phone by entering your 
iTunes password. I think I should have not selected restore purchases because before it gave the option to restore or not to restore and there it's better to select not to restore if they are, you, you don't want to mix up the apps from one phone with the other phone especially if the two phones were not owned by one person keep that in mind when you restore to a newer device all the previous apps will be copied also which were not on the old phone but which were on this phone that only matters if you have two phones which were not yours but one belonged to somebody else and one was yours and they kind of will get mixed up with, with the apps from both phones instead of just from the old one from which you wanted to restore you might also need to delete the saved fingerprint scans in the security settings of the phone thanks for watching and stay safe